Welcome back all my Minecraftian friends. This is the day three player update of the March 2014 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge Nether Adventure. And we have four more deaths to report. And uh, Epic Dragon 7 will not be with me this evening because he is under the weather and he has lost his voice, but uh, we hope to we hope he comes back on Saturday for the day four. Okay, so let's get right started. Redline. This is Redline in his single player world. Uh, Redline uh, has got a fortress and he showed the coordinates of the fortress. So if you're looking for a fortress, you can check out his single player uh, day three episode. And he's got coordinates on the screen showing you how to get there. Okay, he has uh, no iron for a cauldron. So he cannot make uh, potions. But he did find two diamonds in a chest. Next we have Wildcraft. Wildcraft in day three grew a tree. So, good job Wildcraft. Wish I could grow a tree, but I haven't settled down anywhere yet, so... I eventually will grow trees. Now we we come to the team, the team of Redline and Cult Gaming. Uh, Redline uh, was killed by Gast in the team, his team game, and Cult Gaming uh, starved to death while being chased by Gast. Okay, but they did find a fortress. So, good job guys. Too bad you're both dead. Uh, next we have Somatome. Somatome has a fortress. Yahoo! And uh, she also gave the coordinates. And it is a different fortress than Redline's fortress. So, there's two different fortresses with coordinates. So whichever direction you're going, uh, check out either Redline or Somatome and uh, get the coordinates. Next we have Holdabot. Holdabot uh, is building his own fortress out of nether brick. Okay, he uh, and he also grew a tree. So he is taking the nether rack and uh, cooking it in a furnace and then into bricks and then crafting the bricks into nether blocks and making all kinds of, uh, you know, stuff for his fortress. <laughs> okay, so next we have the team of Westcraft Crew. That is Westcraft Crew and Catman Meow123. Okay, they are fighting pigmen and they have no food. So, I hope they find lots of pigmen to eat. Next we have Combat Dude. Combat Dude has uh, made fire resistant potions uh, brood fire resistant potions and he's killing everything in the nether except pigmen he is leaving them alone for now but he does have uh, he's the first one in the in the uh, in the month to make any potions and of course he's making fire resist potions which is what everyone wants next we have Velk Velk is uh, making giant mushrooms so he's got lots of lots of food there and his trees are growing so he's he's growing mushrooms and trees next we have the team of Sayu Lily Steel Douglas and Piker Eyes okay uh, about six minutes into their episode uh, Piker Eyes had was down to four hearts and uh, half of his haunches were gone and he had uh, you know, two pumpkin pies and and uh, and stew in his inventory, but he did not eat it. He decided to save it for a, a more more dire occasion, or maybe when he was hungrier or something. I don't know, but he was running around and he got uh, hit by a blast from a ghast, caught on fire, and of course lost his four hearts in pretty short order and uh, burned to death 
Okay, so Piker Eyes is out. Uh, because he failed to eat. So, let that be a lesson to all you people out there. Uh, eat. Especially if you have food. Hey, look. There's a witch talking to a skeleton up there on the hill. Okay. Uh, next we have... Let's see. Well, and then... Uh, Steel Douglas and Sayu Lily continued on the rest of the episode looking for the fortress but not finding it yet. But I'm sure that they will they will keep up until they do. Next we have the team of Scotty Garbitas, Nathan Pelton, aka Basket MC, Optimus nineteen seventy one, and Lost in the Fort. And they have located a fortress in day three. So Good job on them. Okay. And they, uh, of course, they did a lot of traveling to find this fortress. And in the course of all that traveling with four people out there, it did attract a lot of attention from guests. So it was an exciting episode. And uh, I can't wait to see what they do th do with this fortress. Probably turn it into something awesome. Next we have the team of Joe the Pirate, Chris the Gaming, and Midnight Designer. Uh, I forget the name of their team, but I should have wrote it down. But I didn't. Okay, they grew a tree. And they have some stew. So they're not doing bad on food. And uh, they, they built one of them. A couple of them uh, built a really nice bridge they were they were stuck at the top of the nether you know uh, surrounded by drops everywhere I mean no no place no way down uh, a lot of people uh, spawned in that area Let's see I guess uh, witches don't burn up in the Sun so she's just gonna hang out there okay Okay, so next we have the team of uh, Max Ryder, the Puka, and Psycho SFK. They have located a fortress, and they are uh, rapidly exploring the fortress, and uh, you know, preparing for uh, wither combat. Okay, next we have uh, NTBBPG. Uh, and NTBBPG is looking for a fortress, but have not yet found it. Next we have the walkthroughs. The walkthroughs, at the beginning of day three, finally made it to the nether. Okay. They spent the whole first two days in the overworld doing overworld stuff. Now they're in the nether doing nether stuff. Uh, they do have... Uh, some mushrooms so that they made some stew so they're doing good on food they are looking for the fortress but have not yet located it and next we have uh, Paisley Playfully's episode 2 okay uh, her episode 3 is running a little late but it should be along in a, in a day another day she's having some upload problems but in episode 2 she bred her cows and she uh, found enough mushrooms to make stew so she's got a good start next we have the team of derp guru and one mini e uh mini decided to uh take a take a swim in the lava now, that didn't work out too well she's uh her one mini e and derp guru were uh clearing away some nether rack and there was some lava over on the edge and one mini E got distracted for a second and that's all it takes uh, she thinks maybe her finger slipped off of the shift key but uh, you know I wouldn't have been that close to the edge anyway and slipped into the lava and uh, you know it's over before you know it so that leaves derp alone in the nether by herself with no one else okay that's bad uh, but i'm sure she'll be fine 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next we have Doom Pickles. Doom Pickles in day three is uh, exploring the fortress that he uh, that he found in uh, the previous episode, and he's located uh, several several like multiple like uh, quite a few uh, chests. Yes, chests. So he now has uh, all kinds of stuff from chests. He's got the uh, diamond horse armor. He's got uh, gold chest plates. He's got more gold bars. He's got uh, eight diamonds. Yes, eight diamonds from chests in this nether fortress. Eight diamonds. Uh, very impressive. Uh, I'm sure he'll do something really awesome with the eight diamonds. I can think of several things I'd like to do. Next we have uh, Tangle Zest. Tangle Zest, uh, at the beginning of her day three, she was down to three haunches and no food in sight. Looking for brown mushrooms. Okay, so she went through uh, the first half of the day, uh, still no brown mushrooms and down to two haunches. Uh, but then, uh, toward uh, over halfway through her day three, she did find some brown mushrooms, just a few, but it was enough to get her completely regenned up. She made some stew, ate it, got got her hearts all the way full, got her uh, her meat pops all the way full. So she's she's ready to go exploring now, and hopefully find some more mushrooms and maybe even another fortress and that takes care of day three uh, on my day three I didn't find a fortress either I kept looking and looking and ended up making a big circle toward the end of my episode I turn around and there's my portal across the across the little bay a little lava bay so I'm almost back where I started but I now have coordinates from watching other people's videos, so on day four I will I will hopefully find a fortress and start getting some of those diamonds that Doom Pickles found. Uh, so I guess that uh, that says it all for for the day three player update. And if you wish to join me in the day four player update in Skype. Uh, private message me that means like send a message to my private message YouTube channel and uh, we will get it arranged okay thanks this is Mike Daring signing out oh and by the way the uh, the day four player update will be recorded uh, Saturday afternoon so you know if you if you can't do it Saturday afternoon, then, you know, don't bother asking because that's when it's going to be recorded. Probably around 1 or 2 o'clock uh, Eastern, not Eastern, Central Time, US, USA Central Time. Yeah, let's, let's shoot for 1 o'clock uh, USA Central Time Saturday. That way it gets posted uh, Saturday afternoon and people have plenty of time to to check it out before the the day five episodes start coming out okay on Sunday so now now this is Mike Deering signing out finally yes okay bye bye for now